yeah i don't know what you guys spiritual belief systems are but i don't i'm not a religious individual but i do believe in a higher creator so i'm just gonna say a quick prayer uh putting things out into the world as i'm on this journey as i'm enjoying this time enjoying this ride first and foremost i want to recognize that there is something greater and something more higher and much something more powerful than i am i want to recognize the idea that there is something that is moving something that is living entity that is living life that is spirit i want to also combine the idea that i am too part of that spirit which makes me such as powerful as that spirit which makes me the creator as well and i want to pray and put my mind into those out there who are struggling who are suffering those who are going through some hard times right now in this world because all of us is going through hard times but there are those who are going through even harder times and i want to put my love and respect and sunshine on the children who are being manipulated who are being kidnapped who are being sold for sexual apps acts who are being abused i want to put my life and my energy toward those also to the women out there who are being abused the mothers who are being neglected and, and the senior citizens i want to put prayers on life and touch those writers us on the road who are out here enjoying our times and just looking at safety and knowing that we are safe at all times and knowing that we are protected and knowing that we are covered and we are being manifested into this world we're being pushed into this earth and knowing that we are a part of that light so i want to thank you to the most high to the creator to the intelligence for giving me this life and giving me this energy and giving me the talent to do the things that i do ashe and amen yeah sometimes you just gotta speak it out man whether you believe or not sometimes you just gotta speak things out into the universe and just 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 look around you you know and just be grateful be thankful when i look at these houses when i look at the trees when i look at the skies i look at my motorcycle i see where i'm at you know i see i see gratitude gratitude uh oh roadkill man that raccoon got smashed up gratitude is um is just not something that we practice enough of and I'm telling you, we need to practice gratitude every day. I don't care about the, the, the expensive stuff, the small little things. That's where you practice your gratitude, the little tiny things. And that stuff will go a long way with you. like this man this is the stuff I like let me slow down to capture this uh these buildings man look at look at the, look at the culture look at how old look at this train right here you see what I'm saying look at that I'm gonna show y'all come on look at that look at that that freaking beat up barn you see that damn it's beautiful yo man when I'm riding I just love it. I love it when I look, when I see things. 
that you don't see every day you know like when you out here in the south it ain't nothing like when i lived in california california everything looks the same to me everything looks the same if you go to one rich community they all look the same if you go to a poor community they all look the same but out here you get a mixture of so many different things if you're anywhere in the south let me know man because hopefully one day we can connect with each other and you know and vibe together that's pretty much what it is also suspension let me know what kind of suspension you riding on your bike with. what kind of suspension you guys recommend on the bike because i'm going to change this stock suspension out of here and i'm going to put some updated suspensions i know you hear the shakiness in my voice that's not because the roads are bad it's because the bike is going to bounce no matter what suspension i have regardless but i do want to feel a more comfortable ride i can't say that this feels really uncomfortable because i don't have anything to compare it to but that's the thing is if i if i have something to compare it to then i could at least say all right i can feel the difference you see what i'm saying so let me know what y'all what y'all suggest what your thoughts are brother okay okay well, you, well, you just passing through yeah oh this okay. this this looks good man oh thank you mm -hmm. this looks good what year is this yeah this uh this is 2008 oh this looks yeah, this yeah. looks beautiful yes, brother appreciate it. yeah i'm passing through i'm heading down to south carolina okay okay come from florida no no nah, nah, I'm, I'm out here in georgia georgia okay i'm out, I'm out in um in covington covington okay so yeah you know what i'm saying yeah this looks good though i freaking yeah. like this man yeah, this is beautiful, brother, and it sounds good too. What's you, what, what you on IG? Uh, uh, Facebook. What's the Facebook? Uh, uh, Taiwan Lake. I'm gonna link up with you, bro. Because yeah. I'll be trying to travel a little bit. I go down there covered. Yeah, let me know what's up, man. Okay. We'll nice. link up, bro. Yeah. And if you want, if, if I just started a, a session called um, Ride Fit Nation. Mm -hmm. It's just I teach people a lot about fitness and riders who maintain fitness through. You ex military? Nah, but I teach a lot of military. Okay, okay. A ton of military. What about right, you? Right, I'm ex military. Yeah. Yeah, what, 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 what branch? Air Force. Oh, Air Force. All right. That's what I'm talking about, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. So when you, so I, I, when you hear you talking about fitness, as a black guy, I say he's some kind of military or government. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. Damn. I love lakes, man. Love it. All right, let me talk to y'all real quick about riding, man. Riding, 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 riding. I'm not a fan of riding with a bunch of people. Like when I ride with a bunch of people, it looks good to people who's not on the bikes. The bikes look great together, but you're not riding on your own time. You're riding with everybody else's time. You see what I'm saying? So honestly speaking, when I'm riding my motorcycle, I enjoy, like right now, I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna ride for the hour, right? The first hour and 20 minutes. I'm almost there, I'm 20 minutes. 20 minutes more to go so that means i'm an hour in already and i'm gonna stop and stretch i can stop anywhere i choose to stop but when i'm 
riding with a bunch of people, I have to ride on their time. You see what I'm saying? And if they're riding with me, then they gotta ride on my time. When I'm riding by myself, I get a chance to move at my pace. I get a chance to move at my tempo. If I wanna use my cruise control, which I'm doing right now, I can do that. You see what I'm saying? I can enjoy my cruise control. I can ride at the tempo right now, moving at 60 miles an hour. I don't need to move any faster. But when you're riding with that group, and if the if the captain of that group decides to go faster, then everybody else is gonna follow. And vice versa, right? If they're going slower, then everybody else is gonna follow. A lot of people are afraid to ride by themselves. They're nervous, you know, what if something happens? Who's gonna find you? What if this? Well, I get it, I understand riding with people is, is safer. But for me, I don't, I don't travel with that mindset, you know? Now, here's the other side of it. When I do ride with people, I really do enjoy the time when, I'm, when we pull over and we all come, you know, hang out and we talk and converse about things. I enjoy that a lot. That's fun, you know what I mean? Like when I'm riding my boy Darren, for example, we take a little ride with the, with the, with the uh, Falcons chapter riding club. That's awesome, you know, but I ain't gonna lie, man. I just, I'm, I'm a loner, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a loner. Do you ride with a lot of people or do you ride by yourself? Let me know. I do both. I do both. I'm actually gonna meet up with um, Iron Bread Motorcycle Club tomorrow when I get back from South Carolina. I'm gonna see what they're about. I'm gonna introduce myself to the fellas. The gentleman who's the captain of that club said it's gonna be like about 30 guys there. I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna do what I do. I'm gonna talk to them and I'm, uh, they're interviewing me. I'm gonna interview them too. I wanna see what they're about. And if, if they're about it, then you know, I might join it. But still, I don't have to wait on people. I just get up and go, random. No plan, no nothing, just get up and go. Oh, they got a sun. Finally, I get to see some sun. It's been a little cloudy this morning. But that sun, you see it? It looks beautiful. Hello, sun. <laughs> Woo, baby. I love it. Gas time, baby. Gas is almost damn near five dollars, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. minutes no an hour and 18 minutes away from my location my destination should I say and the ride is once again been phenomenal I'm riding to a little town speed limit is 35 miles an hour and I'm going to stay within that speed limit no need to hurry no need to rush why I mean when you speed it for no damn reason you get pulled over by the police in an area that's hours away from where you don't live then you got to drive hours again to come back to try to fight the ticket, pay the ticket, and then you get the points on your license for no reason. And the point is where you rush into, where you party into, nowhere. <laughs> so it's kind of dumb at the end of the day anyway. You know what I'm saying? You, do you agree with me or you don't agree with me? Come on, I ask y'all a lot if you agree with me or you don't agree with me. But I really don't care. I just want to hear from y'all. That's what I care about. When I hear the responses, when I hear the comments, it lets me know that you're with me and I'm not by myself, you see? And when I'm doing these rides, what makes this vlog so fun is that I'm not riding by myself because I'm literally preparing the content for you guys to be able to listen and enjoy and see what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So it's a beautiful thing, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The weather right now is, it's, it's amazing. Right now I would say it feels like about maybe 70, 70 degrees. The time is 10.54. The date is June 25th. The day is a Saturday. And the, temp the, 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 the visual temperature is awesome. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I'm crazy. So what? I was born crazy. I was born crazy, crazy. 
All right, let's talk a little bit about some business stuff though, in all seriousness. So I've been in the industry for over 24 years now, you know? Loving the fitness industry, loving everything about it. Well, not everything. I actually hate the industry, but I love it at the same time. Because there's so much ways to, to change, to, hit, to help people, you know? And I've been helping people with so many ailments, so many problems, so many issues, so many things that I can honestly say it makes me smile whenever I know that I'm helping somebody to feel better, to live better, to be better, when I'm helping somebody to understand like, hey, you've been living with these excuses for such a long damn time and you had no idea that you could actually do certain things and still be able to get healthier and still be able to be fitter. And I'm gonna tell you, that just makes my spirit feel good, you know? That makes my spirit feel amazing because honestly, it's a reward. It's a massive reward for me to see people being happier, being healthier, being more mindful, being stronger. I freaking love it. Now, Ride Fit Nation is gonna be another business platform that I'm gonna be growing. You know, after a while, you guys are gonna see me selling t-shirts and selling hats and vests and offered programs and all that stuff to you because I'm gonna make Ride Fit Nation a business. I'm gonna make this thing expand and who knows where it's gonna go. You know, doing these motor vlogs is, is beautiful, it's fun. I see a lot of people doing motor vlogs, but I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I'm not gonna just be in my motorcycle talking to y'all the whole damn time. You're gonna be going through the journey with me. I'm gonna be doing things at my house, doing things at my studio. When I'm traveling, you're gonna be with me. You see, because honestly, I don't got time to be stuck in one place. Uh, my, my home girl, uh, what was, uh, what's her name? Uh, um, I think it's Girl on Wheels, something like that. I forgot her, I forgot her, 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 uh, her tag name, but I'll put the link anyway. But she made a video a while back talking about having fear of the future on a motorcycle. And you know, it's basically about her business and where she's gonna take her business to. But I'm gonna tell you honestly, yo, I'm not gonna ever, ever run out of content. I'm never gonna be fearful of my business with a motorcycle vlog because it ain't just gonna be a motorcycle vlog. It's a lifestyle. Lifestyle means that I can implement anything and talk to you all about anything under the sun, under the moon, under the stars. I talk to you about alien invasions. I talk to you about things that's going on in the news. I talk to you about things happening in my family, my business. I talk to you about the motorcycle. I talk to you about everything. I could never run out of content, ever. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just hang tight. Be ready to hate me, to like me, to love me, to despise me, all of that. As long as you keep on coming back and leaving those comments, that's what matters. And, and liking and subscribing because, hey, we're here together and I want y'all to be real. I want y'all to be real. Because I'm real, I'm talking to y'all real. And hopefully you can hear me because I'm moving at about 60 miles an hour and I know that the wind is crazy. But this still is a test run as I'm doing this. So I know what I can do and what I can't do and what tempo makes sense and what tempo don't make sense. You see me? Beautiful though. Beautiful, come on, man. So business for me is um, it's always about growth, man. And I always aim to, to serve. Always aim to serve and find a solution, find a, a solution to a problem. And there's a major problem in the bike industry, and that is obesity, alcoholism, depression. Even though the men are on their motorcycles supposed to be feeling amazing with that wind therapy, and you do, but what happens when you get off that motorcycle? How does it translate off that motorcycle? You see what I'm saying? So you got to make sure, make sure that you're consistently coming back to this channel because I'm not sharing nonsense with you. I'm sharing things that's gonna help you to trans transition off the bike into your life, into your daily life. We're gonna cover so much and I want you to be encouraged and be inspired and be ready to go because this life is beautiful. You feel me? It is beautiful no matter what nobody say welcome to south carolina south carolina baby south carolina yeah i'm out of georgia now 43 minutes left in the trip just past savannah georgia 
I mean the Savannah River and I'm pumping man I'm pumping I'm pumping I'm in my zone I'm in my zone you feel what I'm saying zoned out and here goes the car about to pass me here we go in three in two in one and he's out <laughs> This is beautiful, baby. I think I'm gonna choose a destination like every weekend. It doesn't have to be far, but I'm gonna choose a destination every weekend. I'm gonna start visiting different biker restaurants and different biker spots and different Harley Davidson dealerships. I'm gonna do all that. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. What are some of the things y'all wanna see me start doing on this freaking channel, Ride Fit Nation? Because you know what? I'm not making content just for me. I'm making content for you. So you gotta let me know what you wanna see and I shall make it happen. Come on, baby. Let's go. The craziest thing just happened. A freaking big ass snake was in the road and that damn snake was running for its life. My blood pressure done went up by 60 miles an hour, man. That's crazy. I done, done passed my damn stop, my, my damn arm um, turn. Well, this is why y'all gotta practice making those U-turns in the road, you feel me? So you can do that. All right, practice those turns. Yo, that snake was massive, yo. I wish I was recording it during that time. Damn thing, I hope he don't get killed. Get ran over by a car. Cause he damn near got ran over by a motorcycle. Shucks. Damn, I'm sweating on these armpits right now. My under armpits is like, <laughs> I remember seeing this video. It was in India and there's some crazy ass poisonous snake was crossing the road. Dude was on his motorcycle and the snake jumped and tried to snatch him off that bike. And all I could think about was that my left leg went up so high, I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. I'm surprised I ain't even jump and fly off the bike and just take a flight. <laughs> and then down here too, where I'm at, they have alligators too. So that'd be crazy if I happen to see an alligator just happen to come out. I might just stop and say, what's up though? <laughs> hell no, not this black guy. <laughs> nope. I'll leave that up to all y'all white folks. <laughs> all my white people, y'all been doing some crazy things, man. Black people, listen, we chickens, man. We chickens when it comes to certain things. We ain't doing it. We ain't doing it. <laughs> nah, that's not the truth, though. Well, no, it is true, but it's not true 100%. No. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let me show y'all some of the things I love to see. I love to see stuff like this right here. When I look at things like this when I'm riding, it's just, it's dope. Look at that. I hope y'all can see it. It's beautiful. When I'm riding, if I'm driving, looking at things like this. This is a this is a railway. Train tracks. All back here industrial. Man, I gotta get some photos of this. This is just beautiful. See what I'm saying? Gotta look at things, man. I I guess I'm weird or something, I don't know. I find beauty in everything, in a lot of things that people don't find beauty in. Yeah guys, that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. It's like, like I said, I just like to see, oh, there's a road glide over there, chilling. It's a garage, I wonder what happened to that road glide. It's uh, just enjoying the day, man, looking at things that's around us. I mean, look around your house right now. Look around your room. Where you at? Look and find something that's beautiful. Like right now, I'm coming up. I see a big train in the in the foreground. In the it's uh, a massive train that's moving into, the, into that. You can't see it, but I'm going to see it. It's beautiful. The tree is beautiful. In a quarter mile, turn left. Look at this freaking white building, whatever the heck you want to call it. Beautiful. Look at those trees. Beautiful. Look around your house and see the stuff that's beautiful, man. And learn how to just engage with that. There go that train. Look at this. I'm coming up to the stop sign right now. Look. That's a long train. That's one of these long daddy -os. Massive. This tra these trains take forever and ever and ever and ever and ever to go by. So while it's doing that, and I came late. Take the time to look around your surroundings. Enjoy it when you feel stressed out, when you feel like, you know, you're down a little bit just focus on the beautiful things around you as men it's like if we don't you, you know we use the words beautiful to women but what about beautiful to the day what about beautiful to your motorcycle what about beautiful to how you feel what about beautiful to your energy you see what i'm saying like find the beauty around you man like i'm sitting here to my right there's a marsh over there that's a marsh it's like a swamp 
and I'm pretty sure there's some damn alligators in there too if I, if I look hard enough I might find one but look you see this train this train is taking forever now these trains when I first took my trip cross country I remember seeing these long trains for the very first time I was wowed by the length of the train but more than that I'm wowed by the people who actually have to load these trains up and the people who have to operate these trains that's beauty to me man you know what I mean so come on baby come on so we in South Carolina I'm about 17 minutes away from my destination I'm glad about that I did my stretches I got off the bike a couple of times and um, took some stretches I went and got me a little bit of sugar just to get a little bit of energy turn left, then turn right a little bit of energy in the body and uh, yeah got me some water definitely hydrated hydration is key so we're at Hardyville Industrial Park. So this is this area is all industrial places. You know, while I'm down here, I'm gonna actually look to see if I can find like a a place that does signs. Cause I wanna I wanna get some signs put on my motorcycle. You know, that says Ride Fit Nation on the bags, and um, maybe put the sim the logo on the front. So I might find something down here in South Carolina while I'm down here too. If not, I'll just wait to get up to Georgia to get it done. So, question for you, fitness question. What did you do today for your workout? What did you do today? Let me know, I wanna know. What did you do? Leave it in the comments. What did you do? So I've been telling y'all, you got to travel. You have to hang around people. That's good folks. I've been telling you guys this, you hang around people who ain't good, you're gonna end up in the marsh. You're gonna end up stuck. <laughs> right, Jim? Yeah. Right, damn right. <laughs> Town Bluffton, Old Town Bluffton. This place is beautiful out here, man. So I try to encourage everybody to just go out there and just have fun. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars to have fun. So in case y'all don't know, this is one of my favorite people on the planet, and this is my other favorite people on the planet. Favorite people. Yeah. Yeah. I always love seeing that stuff. The trees coming out of the water. And over here looks nice. family before it starts to get dark outside i decided hey let me just talk to y'all real fast touch bases the trip was good yesterday i had a good time with the family when they crack a barrel my wife my son my daughter my mom phenomenal 
and then woke up and went out to South Carolina, as you already saw, and uh, had a great time with Jim and Robin. I just, you know, I, I was gonna record a bunch of stuff with them, but I decided not to. I, I just decided to show a few clips of them and um, they showed me their brand new house they're getting built, which I'm so proud. It took a lot for them to sell their house in California and move out of South Carolina. Phenomenal, the ride was awesome. Took the local route down, but I figured coming back home, I'll just take the highway. The local route in the nighttime in strange places, I prefer to be in a highway. You know what I'm saying? The highway is way different than the local road, roads because local roads attract a lot more wildlife. In the nighttime, you tend to want to be in the roads. You know, possums, deers, snakes, raccoons, that damn snake that jumped in front of you today was crazy. But I just want to tell y'all, man, Get out there, have a good time. Make sure you're stretching. I pulled over, I'm not in a hurry. I'm gonna get home about 11 o'clock tonight. It's gonna get dark in a few, but um, stop and I'm relaxing. I'm not in a hurry, I'm not rushing. I'm taking my time. I bought my little snack, got me a little snapper drink. to get some sugar in my system. I have a chicken wrap from earlier that I, that I saved for now. And uh, yo, that's it. All right, so don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. Let me know what you want to see because this is a lifestyle channel, baby. I'm going to share my life with y'all, and I hope that y'all can do the same with me as well, all right? Reciprocation, the name of the game. All right, I'm out.